Turkey makes turkey noises. A giant prehistoric monster is destroying the city. It's stomping around, obliterating buildings. Who knows how many cans of food it's crushing? You're the only one who can stop it. Somewhat big. Super annoyed. Monster time. Let's save the city. The group drives a few feet and almost runs over the monster. It turned out to be someone in a monster suit, stepping on a small cardboard city. Sorry, I'm stuck in the suit. Climbs into the car. There's no room in the team for this monster. Who should leave? Okay. Uh, that was awkward. The full party, man. It's very strict. The group gets a rare, peaceful moment to relax on a roof, apartment roof. There's time to talk, and re someone reveals a lot about themselves. Alice. Let's hear about your uh, musical career and stuff, and it's all shooting mechanical, medical stuff. He's got great shooting. While driving on the death row, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. I think this is a good place to go to. This apartment building was turned into a barricade fortress. It has been completely overrun by a horde of zombies. On the plus side, they seem fairly docile for now. Thick, calm, late afternoon. Attack the fortress. Did you pick up a zombie late clown? Why? Magazine. Finds a magazine in good condition among the ruined magazines of book. The magazine title is Swole. Swole. How did I miss? There we go. Now that we're not tired. Too, not just the zombies. I still don't get why you can't loot a bathtub with closed curtains like that. Someone could have been eating food in it. As long as they don't drop it in the water. <laughs> I think I heard someone talk about something like that. Food in the tub. At least one person. Anyway. So much rifle rounds, but we don't have a rifle still. Oh, well, sorry, everybody. Sorry due to my grimy fingers. But I'm wearing gloves. You can't tell in this game, I'm wearing gloves. The group sets out camp outside a grocery store. They notice another group has been following them and will attempt to tr loot the place. Send one person to loot. I trust the clown since he's been getting us out of danger. The other members stand at our side for the looters as clown searches the grocery store. He brings back six food. 
That would be E8. You can get solar panels on a couple of batteries and come in handy. Let's keep our eyes out then. I can see something like that being useful. A man in makeshift armor made from athletic gear is standing guard in the middle of a narrow wooden bridge on the road. He's wearing boxing gloves, staring forward at the car, silent as he blocks the way past. I think the fitness are pretty good. Turkeys is unknown, clown is unknown, and Alva's got some strength and fitness going good. So I think I'll try and push him. The group gets out of the car, tries to push the bridge guard off the bridge. After some struggling, the group is able to toss him off the bridge. I'm glad it worked, because these guys are not good in strength and fitness. The group is driving down a long stretch of road, no threats on the horizon, but not much just of interest either. The group finds someone they can trade with. Uh, let's see here. That car is unusually close to my car. The rifle will woman claims she used to train others in competitive shooting. She is selling tips for keeping your aim steady and multiple target trick shots. Zombies are slow. Moving targets is real easy. The group sees a gruff man near an ice cream truck. The words ice cream have been crossed off its sign with shock. Ah, dang it. With cross some ugh. the words ice cream have been crossed off its sign with shotgun shells written in. He offers to sell five shotgun shells for every food item you give him. Ben, sorry, excuse me, man. Welcome to the Fence of Valley! How spooky. The group meets a woman holding a Roman candle, unlit. She seems she's ready to light it at any moment. So strong, so pretty, so practical. I won't be liable if you blow yourself up with the KO Boomer. And what's the deal with this van being close to my car? The group discovers an unsettling and filthy van. It has a sign that says, Easy Medical College, hanging crookedly on the back door. Inside is an unsettling and filthy dude in overalls. Well, who wants to learn about surgery? You know what? Except that time with El Satan, the KO Boomer hasn't failed me yet. It's formerly illegal in nearly all countries. Still really illegal in Canada. 25% chance to blow yourself up. Try dropping it and running away really fast if it's feeling hot in the hand. Hello? Okay. Gobble! Wow, that was, um... Well, that wasn't very nice. The group accidentally disturbs a lot of undead while scouting a city. This causes a chain reaction of blunders and they are soon surrounded. Their only chance is running through a tunnel in the road. Sardine packed mega cheese afternoon. Try to survive. Okay, on the gas. Yep, maybe I'll find some of the wrecked cars for all we know. That car is on fire over there. Oh, here's some gas. Uh, let's get away from the fire car before I start sacking the rest. 
Oh, we're at the end. Okay, we did need the chainsaw after all. Well, better safe than sorry. Trying to manage to survive that. Trying to get the hang of this. But it's a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. My fitness is great. Obviously, shooting is great. And there's an unrevealed medical and mechanical there. It's open clown to get the medical since he's the medic. The guy with the medic. The group finds an inn. Oh, for the business. The owner rings her hand. Give me ten food. I'll watch over you while you sleep. <laughs> she is super creepy. The group pays to stay a night at the inn. It's comfortable. Comfortable. No one wants zombies creeping while they are sleeping. Yeah. Man, even she's good with rhymes. The innkeeper serves up an amazing breakfast. The clown refuses to eat it. Thank you very much. The group discovers something incredible while exploring a house. An actual working toilet. Everyone has been doing their business in the woods. The toilet has a futuristic control panel full of buttons. Jenny Mespres feels compelled to press one and chooses the button labeled with a picture of... A butt? The toilet seat starts to hum and glow silent slightly. Jenny Mespres sits down. The electronic toilet seat gives him a powerful gluteal message as the toilet repeatedly chants in different languages. The glutes are the key to fitness. The glutes are the key to strength. The glutes are the key to power. The glutes are the center of life. My strength increases. My fitness increases. The future toilet emits a whirling noise and stops working. Vocabulary note. Gluteal means butt. The group drives into a new city. Noises from the car have already started to draw attention from the undead. make a fridge stop us. If we can pick it up and take it with us, that'd be great, but unfortunately, no one here has the strength for that, even at maximum. Maybe a rare character can do that. But he's not in this party now, is he? Junk! Chairs, and then we throw my zombies. guys. Junk. I strong.
Get all out. Okay, good. I don't want to get trapped in there with those guys. Alright, let's see what the super sporting has got. A ton of zombies. Anything good, though. It's got a bathroom. One toilet we can lose. That's your hatchet. Get back to the turkey. Got it? Good. Find an abandoned campground with a fire pit. John M.S. Perez even finds an old somewhat stale extra large pack of marshmallows. Let's eat them. There's such a cat that eats a huge bag of marshmallows instead of eating dinner. There's even some left over. Who can say no to marshmallows? I guess if you have to, I suppose. The group sees a city in the distance with zombies crowding the streets. Getting back alive may be difficult. Lost safe house would probably be the best bet here. For supplies. Okay, come on, game. At least one rifle. We have a lot of rifle rounds. How about a rifle to use it with? Use it with. Reading and grammar is not my strong point. Arriving to a good soundtrack, however. But won't see because of camera shyness. There go. Gasoline. Going through stuff. Lots of it. Gasoline. Medicals. Throw that drawer at the song. Yeah. Get out of this. And it did. Junk. 
couple of folks get into Canada while looting the building, okay? Many buildings and locations. The zombies insist on getting in our way. Oh, we're bashing the pieces. zombies up there. I mean seriously, you're telling me you can't just put loot in the bathtub like this? Open the curtains and see something? Maybe someone is eating food in the tub for all we know. Ooh, That. Ah. I got butter fingers. Car's broken down from using the beer, so I'll start up again. We only have two units of gas, so I don't think it's worth trying. Hmm. Wasting no time, the group decides to ditch the car and walk until they find a new vehicle. While walking, Alice doesn't notice a hole in his backpack. By the time he realizes this, there had been a lot of opportunity for supplies to fall through. I don't mind losing rifle rounds since we don't have a rifle. Ow! Donovan's Perez is walking along the road when he is suddenly mauled by a feral cat. Feral cats coast the United States after the Zombocalypse. You never see them, but they're always watching, waiting for any weakness. How dare you. Last stop, the junks and savage. The group walks to a junkyard with the car pulled up to the front of it. The car looks like it'll run, and it might be the last one you see for a while. Moderate, irritating, late afternoon. It's a dog car. It's on the tail of it. Include some cards. Let's pick it up and let's go. Bullets. Gasoline track right there. Container. Let's see what's in the building. Okay. More gasoline. And more gas. Smack him in the head. Get in the car. Let's go. Everyone's in? Yeah, looks like everyone's in. No party member left behind. 